Okay, I think we're about an hour outside of the uh, California border here on the Oregon coast. 101, it's still super foggy. You can't see much of anything. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I like it. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. And I also like it. <laughs> so if you ever need to get to California from Oregon or vice versa, I suggest taking Highway 101 along the coast because there's a lot of excellent scenery. Very scenic and highly recommended. Um, it was kind of a bummer because I knew today was just a driving day to get to our destination. So we were passing through the Redwood Forest. It was foggy. It made it mystical. It was gorgeous. And I couldn't take it anymore. I'm like, Dad, you have to pull over at least once. Let's do something kitschy. And he did. Okay, we're at the giant drive through tree and it's gridlock. Raleigh's right there. Lynn's right there. She can take a photo. But I want to go check out this tree in the flesh if you will, before I get back in the car. Ah. Wow. Look at that thing. Wow, okay, so Raleigh's driving through this thing and it is really tight. Yeah, you're fine. Really, really tight. He had to put his mirrors in and uh, yeah, I think he's a little freaked out. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Look what it got. Lynn forced her dad to drive through a tree. Wait, don't, put, don't, don't push that out. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, because they go out on oh, track. Oh, my bad. And then Noah broke the And then mirror. I broke the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> We're screwing up his day big time. <laughs> It'll be like Tommy Boy, that guy in his car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? You actually hit going through? Yeah. Wow. That's like there. Dang. Yeah. I, I, well, Turn I'm through. Proud. Yeah. Oh, good and there's an email. Again, this was basically just a driving day, so our time in California was, was short, but kind of hectic. I forgot how fast people drive in California. Uh, so we basically just nicked the state, but we found ourselves very quickly in the chaos of the two-lane highways that you find out in the high desert of Nevada, and mo most specifically related to how aggressive people are with passing on these highways. And so it was a little unnerving at times, uh, very reminiscent of some of the traveling that we did in uh, Asia, uh, especially with like mini buses that we would take and whatnot. So it yeah. took a little bit of getting used to. Well, Noah's being sweet and diplomatic. The word he's looking for is people were assholes. Yeah, they were assholes. Okay, we got a guy behind us who wants to pass us now, but there's a semi right there. And there's the guy who wants to pass us there. He's also in a Tahoe, coincidentally. Oh, is he gonna go for it? No, he's stupid. It's blind. He can't see what's coming. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. And then he's going again. He's going again. Passing is a high stakes game. So, I'm in heaven because I love all things abandoned, and these towns are all abandoned. The watering hole. A thrift store in ruins. Yeah, it's like everything is. Everything is like shut shit. up, and yeah, it's like something out of a movie. Look at that motel right there. Look at that sign. Oh my god, they had vacancy. That's psycho. We're in Looning, Nevada. Uh huh. We had a rest stop. Yes. And I come across the street here, and there is this really cool abandoned facility. It's like a trailer, store. I don't but know. But then it was a store at one time, so like, here, come check it out. Looked like it was a thrift store. It was once a business, someone's house. And now there's books. Books. Creepy there's doll. Creepy doll. Lots of books. There's lots of VHS tapes over here. I'm gonna tell your dad, he'll be all over that. We want to see. Ooh, my left foot, Daniel Day Lewis. Oh wow. Yeah. Free. Free. All yours. Yeah. Yeah, this whole table is just filled with all kinds of junk. I don't know why it was left out here. But if you look on the side. It says dollar table. So maybe they expect people to give donations for their junk. I'm not sure. What's really funny is that there's actually a casino in this town. It's crazy. Even out, out in the middle of nowhere, effectively, there's a casino. There's a creepy clown motel. It's, it's creepy. Tonopah, Nevada is where we are currently located and it is slightly creepy. I like it. I think it's, it's very cool. much like it's the hills have eyes. Yeah, it's only type 30. Movie. You come into Tonopah, but you don't go out. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it, Tonopah? We're across from that creepy building. <laughs> That's where some of the other people are the staying. The others are staying. Let's see where the office is. This is home. Um, where's the office? For the night. It's okay, quick recap. Wonder. 
It's so beautiful here. We got in. I didn't know really to, what to expect. This town is amazing. It's haunted. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of history. And while the woman here is super sweet and she was like in our kitchen. She was really chatty. Really chatty. But I stopped, I had to stop her. I'm like, okay, stop. Sorry, I'll come bug you later. But I got to check out the sunset. And this sunset, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. Agreed. Okay, what are we doing today? Today, we are, oh, there's a bunny. Sorry. A bunny? Oh, distracted, I distracted. land strikes oh, again. I can't help it. Today, we are in the town of Tonopah. It's early morning. We got to see the sunset last night when we came in, which was amazing. Um, but today, we're exploring this little mining town, and I'm really excited. Right across our place, there's this tiny boarded up, I guess it was a hotel. They must have had like one room, and they're like, Room starting at $20 a night. But then if you look at it, what is up with that? Why would they have a pentagram oh. <laughs> as the signage of their place? I don't know. It's or actually, weird... what's crazy is it looks like there was a sign there, but behind it was the pentagram. Huh. So you can see that the sign's gone, but behind it was totally a pentagram. Something creepy. What does that mean? What does that mean? The triangle. Uh-huh. Well, you can kind of see on the other side. Go around oh my god, another triangle. Yeah, three of them. Three. Oh my god. <laughs> Urbex, man. Urbex. This is where I get it from. It's in there. There's a bunch of dead pigeons in there on the floor. Where? Everywhere. And then there's this thing. I don't know what this is. What's this here? What is that? I don't know. A furnace. It's a furnace. My dad called it the boy box. The boy box? He's like, ugh, I'm sacrificing. Too many movies, too many weird hysteria type things. I've been watching too many movies. There's a clown motel, the creepy freaking clown motel. Wow. Who, who does that? Who creates a clown motel? I don't know. <clears throat> Checking in. Creepy clown hotel or motel. What's the difference? I don't get it. Hotel? Yeah, what, what's the difference between a motel and a hotel? I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. Internet, help us out. Angry YouTube commenter, help us out. So as if the clown hotel wasn't creepy enough, Right next door, right next door, there's a cemetery. There's a cemetery next door for all the victims, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for all the victims. All kidding aside, this place actually houses the graves of many of the settlers, the founders of Tonopah, and, and reading the gravestones really gave you a sense of the hard life that they had to deal with out here in the desert. It was actually pretty humbling. This is infinitely interesting. A lot of mine accidents that happened here. Um, it's a mining town, it's what they do. It's actually kind of beautiful. <laughs> beautiful in a weird way, huh? Beautiful in a weird way. It's special, I guess. What does that say down there, Lenny? Charles Smith, age 33, from British Columbia, died August 1906, was murdered in his cabin behind the Midway Mine. Wow. So these people, aged 28 and 22, married couple, both died as the result of a runaway ore car accident near the Tonopah Belmont Mine ore bins, 1907. Send in the clowns. Those daffy, laffy clowns. Send in those soulful and doleful schmoats by the bowlful clowns. Send in the clowns. <laughs> so after all the buildup, I really wanted this place to be creepy and it was not at all. It was quaint, it was chill. And we had a great talk with the owner who is super sweet and he's just a really great guy. Trippin', my husband Hi. Noah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 
So you're on vacation? Yeah, kind of? we're road tripping, um, all three of us, and driving down Good. to Good. go to Vegas to see his dad, my Get grandpa. To Vegas, right? Yeah. Yep. We have family in Vegas. Yeah, my grandpa. Yeah, they don't have to pay three hundred dollars a night for a room. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is such. We rolled in last night. This is so cool. This well, is thank you. Interesting Appreciate that. Place. Yeah, we're we're gonna. Put it up for sale. I'm just trying to get the details worked out. Oh, sure. That's probably going to take a while. And one of the conditions they can't ever change is got to stay the town hotel. It feels like I'm in a David Lynch film. Like I said, there's the clown motel, and then across is like a defunct, abandoned hotel, and then an old cemetery of miners. And it's very David Lynchy. There's a lot of characters here in Tonopah. Nevada. Yeah. Send in the clowns. Those deaf.